All right, welcome back everybody. Death Beach here, producer of the future, and we got some things to talk about today regarding NFTs and some of the questions that I've been getting from commenters on both YouTube and on Instagram. So what is an NFT really? What are we talking about? An NFT is a digital representation of ownership backed by a smart contract. A lot of words. So what are we talking about? We're kind of talking about programmable money, a programmable MP3, okay? It's just computer code. That's all we're talking about. And, and because it's code, it has unlimited flexibility. And because it's on the blockchain, it's immutable, meaning it's permanent. Nobody can ever change it or mess with it. There's no centralized place that can ever take this down or take it apart or anything. So whatever your kind of wildest dreams are, we're going to be able to do. And, you, and this might still be a little confusing to you. And there is one more layer to everything. And it is a technology called Web3. And Web3 is going to allow our internet browsers to directly communicate with blockchain and with the traditional web architecture. Excuse me. Okay, so we got a lot of fear uh, out there right now with a couple of things. And those are some issues that I would like to address in this video. But before we get into that, if you could really do me a favor, and if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the bell button, and if you could like this video and also share it with people. And I'm gonna tell you why. One, we need the algorithm to push these videos out so that we can get more attention on this subject and bring more people into the space for more innovation. Without any further ado, let's get into some of these issues that I'm seeing here. Okay, so we're looking at all these artists right now that are hitting it incredibly big with these NFTs. And what a lot of people are missing is some of this stuff has been planned by these artists for maybe the past, I don't know, five years. That's certainly about as long as Blau has been working on his record and releasing it as an NFT. This takes a lot of careful planning and really crafting what you wanna do with it. About six months ago, I started making videos about the NFTs and really encourage you guys to get into it and to educate yourselves and learn more. Now, hopefully some of you guys did and perhaps you've made a sale. Uh, if you didn't, this is the second best time to start learning about this and getting into it, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. An artist that sell, signs a major label deal will typically walk home with about 12% of what that record pulls in leaving a whopping 88% for the rest of the industry. What we're talking about here is gonna completely flip that script. You are now gonna have the ability to make more money in sales than your favorite artists by moving less units. Now just think about that for a second. Is this something that you wanna to continue to sleep on or is this something that you wanna learn about more? Now this is also a subject that not every artist needs to learn to code and solidity and you know, figure out how to do all this stuff. You can bring in people. Hopefully if you have a manager, they should be organizing all this for you. If you don't, Death Beach has you covered. I am consulting people actively right now on how to do this and how to create effective plans. Whatever concerns you have, I can't stress the importance of getting into doing this almost right away, simply so that you can learn about it. A big reason you wanna learn about it is for your fans because they're going to need to learn about it. A real big complaint I get is maybe adoption isn't quite here yet. Well, I can tell you this, in about six months, everybody's mom is gonna have a digital wallet. So at that point, is that when you wanna start building your store and learning about NFTs? No, you should start doing it right now so that you can be ahead of the curve. Also, we need to take into consideration the fans and what they're spending their money on. Currently, in the United States, a person subscribing to Spotify needs to listen to about 5,000 songs in a month in order to get their subscriptions worth. Think about that for a second. We're offering them a chance to pay artists directly for the music that they want to listen to and in perhaps in a way that they can listen to it whenever they want. And if they don't want to spend $10 for the month, they don't have to. I can see Spotify it's radically changing here in the future. And speaking of Spotify, let's talk about how NFTs could fit together into a world with streaming. Because this is another question that people have for me. Well, if there's Spotify, like am I making an NFT? And if I'm making an NFT, am I going on Spotify? Check out this idea. 
What if you just put your singles out on Spotify? Your best songs possible. Try to get as much traction as you can on them, get them on playlists. Use Spotify to pull people back to your website where you can get their, their email so that they can join your email list, be part of your fan club, and perhaps they can buy the rest of the album as NFTs on your site. So let's break down how this could work. Like we said, we got the two singles up on Spotify. Now, let's say we're doing a 10 song album. Let's take the next, or let's take those singles first, and let's say we make, I don't know, maybe 800 or 1,000 copies of each of these songs. We sell them for two to $5 each. They get the download of the song and they get the new artwork that comes with it. Now, the remaining, the next six tracks, let's say. Let's take those next six and let's make maybe only 500 copies of each of those. And let's say they come with additional artwork and a remix as well like a hidden track, and maybe that hidden track doesn't get released for a certain amount of time. This tier we set up for bidding, so people will bid on these, so you could get anywhere, you know, it could start at $2, but you could get $10, $20, I mean, who knows, right? So now let's take the next two songs that we have on the record. Now, we wanna make these very, very rare songs. One of those songs, we make five copies of it. And it comes with the additional artwork, it comes with the remix track that's time released later. And then let's say it also comes with a one-on-one -on -one video chat with you, where you guys can talk about anything you want. And an even better idea is to set up a video chat where you can talk to a bunch of your fans and perhaps they pay, I don't know, $5, but the owners of, of this token can get into that for free and they get to hang out with you even after that and talk to you privately. Now the last token, maybe we just do a one of one. It comes with all the things that the other tokens come with, but this one, they also get to get into your shows backstage for life, and they get to collaborate with you on a song. How cool would that be? Maybe they come into the studio, maybe just do a writing session with them. It could be anything like that. The, the, the sky is really the limit. What we wanna do is have different NFT tokens for a project so that we can tier it. We can have people bidding on it. We have something that's at a set price for people if they wanna buy it. We're essentially gamifying it. We want people to create a strategy inside their mind to get as many of these as possible. And just think of all the fun games that you can play with that.